Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs, continuing on with the project of updating the hardware on the door behind me. The first video, we addressed the doorknob. So getting the old dated gold doorknob, which actually didn't have visible mounting screws. So like, how do you remove that from the door and then get a new one installed in addition to getting the strike plate positioned correctly. So that video is right here. If, you, if that's something you're also facing with updating the hardware, but this video will focus on the hinges themselves. So the door hinges right now are kind of your classic beat up gold, uh, painted over many times over the years, uh, but they're definitely not matching the new doorknob hardware. So I need to get more of an aged bronze finish on the hinges and just update them, make them look fresh. So what I'm gonna do is use this Rust-Oleum metallic paint and primer in one. I've used this on a few projects before and it's, it's a great paint and it's very forgiving in terms of getting a consistent coverage on a metallic surface or a metal surface. So we'll be using this and that will give us the look of an aged bronze with the gold, currently the gold finish. The nice thing is you get this paint on top of it, which is more of a dark brown. And even if a little gold comes through, it kind of goes with that aged bronze finish in general. So it's pretty forgiving matching these two colors, the old color and this new paint up. So let's jump in. I'll show you how to remove these hinges quickly so you can get them all together and kind of batch process them. Clean everything up and then get that new paint on them and get them back in place. Starting off, we'll tap all of the pins from the bottom side with a small screwdriver or another pin to loosen everything up. Then with those pins popped up, we'll open the door and remove the pins with our hands or possibly a pair of pliers if you need a new little more leverage. And then remove the door from the hinges. Then you'll remove all of the screws and you're going to definitely want a compact nut driver like this or a drill because you're going to be removing a lot of screws from all of your door jams and then also the doors. Take your time. Don't strip any of the screws out because we're going to want to paint and reuse those later on. Then once you get to your last door, make sure to count all of the two knuckle hinges and three knuckle hinges along with the pins to make sure you have the parts needed while you move into the prep phase so you're not missing anything. Run through the setup of how I'm cleaning these hinges and getting them ready to paint. I already have all of my two knuckle hinges done over here and I've been doing four at a time. So now I'm going into the three knuckle hinges and I'm going to first heat them up. So I'll use this heat gun, heat up the surface of, of all four of these, and then I will grab it with some channel locks so I don't get burned. Use my stiff scraper and scrape off as much paint as possible and any other debris. Still holding the channel locks, I'll use this wire brush and brush that surface and try to get it as clean as possible. I'm not looking to get these perfect. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna clear coat them or something, uh, keeping that unfinished look. Uh, they will get paint. I just wanna get all the loose debris. You can see some of these. Should be able to see that. I mean, there's just even dust, grime, and stuff in between the knuckles that, that you need to remove uh, in addition to paint and some rust and other debris on the surfaces. So I'll go ahead and knock through uh, four of these to show you guys how they look afterwards. Uh, but first, let me show you what I did with the screws. So using masking tape, I just put all the screws and covered the threads because I'm just going to hit the heads of these screws. And I really didn't do much prep on these at all. I just ran a wire brush over them, and that's it. So all the screws are set up here. And then on the pins, all I did was pretty simply took some steel wool and just rotated the pins through that steel wool back and forth just to clean up and deburr that surface to make sure they'll fit back in, be, uh, in the hinges no problem. And then just for the heads, because that is the surface that we're gonna paint, I just used that stiff scraper and just scraped off any uh, excess, usually paint that was on these. So then what I'll do with those is I will put the same thing. I want to cover the pins because I do not want to 
paint the body of the pin, making it harder to fit back in to the hinges. I just want to really hit those heads. So I'll wrap that up and then I'll just be spray painting all the heads of those pins. So that's what will get my screws and pins, the heads all painted, but then protecting the threads or the body of the pin. And then uh, here the hinges will dive into and I'll just run you through one set here. So finishing up the last few hinges here for the demo, if you want to know exactly what tools I'm using, you can look down in the description and I'll have a link for the scraper and the wire brush and any other tools used in this video. So with all the hinges, pins, and screws laid out on a piece of cardboard, I did multiple passes at different angles with the can about 12 inches away from the surface that I was painting. And then once I had completed the first pass, I did two complete coats with a one hour dry time between the coats. Now one nice thing on these pins and screws with that masking tape is you can use that masking tape to flip over and get both sides. So I let the second coat in the paint dry for 24 hours to make sure it hardened and was ready for reinstall. Then after that, I just reversed the process we did for removing all the hardware. One thing to note is be consistent and keep your two knuckles on either your door jam or your door and your three knuckles on the other so you're not mixing those up. And then also, Take your time screwing these in. You don't want to strip out those screws and you do want a nice finished surface so you don't want to chip off any of the paint. Now with the hinges installed, we can put our door back together. This takes a little bit to get things to line up, but once you have them set where the hinges are together, you can start dropping your pins in. And again, you can work that door open to kind of loosen things up and then press the pins down. But to get the pins all the way down, you're going to need probably a block of wood or a piece of cardboard, and then you can tap those down with a hammer. So overall, that finishes up our project, and now the hinges match much better to the new doorknobs that we installed. So the hinges have a really nice finish, but one thing that I still need to go back and do is I didn't give that much attention to the back surface because that's going against the door jam or against the door, depending on which one. But in my case especially, the doors do not cover the full surface. And I, I should have known that from the paint streak that was common on a lot of my hinges. And that is where the door will stop. So the door would cover this side, but not cover this side. So I left those pretty much unfinished because I only painted the one side and then kind of went around the knuckles. But now after I did two coats, so I did the two coats on the front side, give a great finish. Now I do need to at least hit one coat, flip all those over and hit one coat. So from the inside of the room, you don't see this exposed gold surface and everything looks very fit and finished. So that's my recommendation. Two coats on the front, get that looking great because these are gonna be really your exposed surfaces that you're gonna see quite a bit more. And then at least get a solid one coat, if not two coats on the back side. If you want a link to the exact spray paint that we used, go down in the description, you'll see that there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have weekly videos like this coming out to help you with your repairs around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.